mom's fucking here. Having a good day. Yep, sorry about that. Just listening to some metal. Some uplifting, positive music. Anywho, so, got this guy today. Before I do the pimpage, I'm just gonna show you this. Uh, cannot remember the name, the username, but uh, she's a fellow YouTuber, you guys all know her. Uh, put a link to her channel, subscribe to her. Apologize for not knowing the name off the top of my head, but I can't remember shit ever, so, yeah. Spider Copa Cow. Always kind of look like an interesting knife. Nice little self-defense knife. The wave on it, you know, for reverse grip. Eh, she's selling at a good price, so I figured I'd check it out. But uh, she's got a great channel, guys. Check her out, link below, definitely. Uh, you know, here, just doing some surface grinding on a Snowdy. Love doing that. I get these things, they look like shit. Yeah, he sells them like, you know, make your own uh, knife type kit thing, you know. Um, but they come with these like absolutely like flawlessly gorgeous edges and then uh, you know the rest of it just looks like uh, kind of like some kind of crazy wasteland apocalypse shit which I like but you see this side nice and surface ground I kept the lines on there looks good I like this knife it's cool this side a little bit more work needs to be done to it you see those gashes in it from uh, I guess his surface grinder. But yeah, this one's gonna be crazy. So anyway, so got a couple pimp jobs. I started off this morning doing something for myself just to keep the pressure off and get back into the things. And uh, didn't take me too long. It's a very easy knife to pimp, so I figured you know, it might be quick to uh, fall out my uh, chalkway. So there's my chalkway with the uh, acid stone wash blade looking oh so nasty and you got the bronze titanium on one side and on the other and I uh, see the liners are darker bronze They're actually not perfectly lined up uh, I didn't finish that up I just kind of was getting lazy you see I got a little bit of touching up to do on that but you know it's the point where it made me happy just to start the day with this and uh, you know, it feels amazing. One of my favorite knives. And uh, just got sick of that thin little piece of G10 on there. So now it's just ridiculously strong now. Feels like a tank, a little thin blade. It's got a nice little whip there. Yeah, it's good. It's nice, love it. My Spider Co. Chunkway. Feels great. So, next up, uh, this one is for Gavco or something. Well, actually, first up, guys, we're gonna have a little discussion, all right? Now, if you ever see somebody bringing a Dremel close to a blade, just grab them and just tell them to stop. Hug them, just keep them from doing it, just anything you can. And apparently, our pal Farm Doc here decided to, uh, he was bored one day, so you know, he got a little too close to his blade with the uh, with the Dremel, and uh, the results were disastrous. So went again, went ahead and fixed his uh, zero tolerance 560. It basically reground the uh, this whole area here, best I could. Yeah, you see a star wash on there. Uh, this one's not finished yet. And then there's a scale, not for him. This is for Gapco actually. Uh, nice smooth jade. But the blade looks so terrible, I just didn't want to uh, embarrass anybody on camera. <laughs> I'm just fucking with it, dude. So a nice smooth contour jade. Feels real good. Nice deep uh, finger choils there. Looks cool with this, uh, this stone wash. Okay, so... 
You got one more than I have an, a ridiculous knife I'm working on. Well, actually, I'll do this knife first, and then the last pimp job, which is for Mr. Blood Them Flowers. One of the strangest people I've ever, ever had the uh, pleasure of talking to. But, all right, so I got this piece of, oh man, Vance is calling me, everybody's calling me. What's up, Vance? You're on camera right now, I'm making a video. Oh, uh, never mind, man. Sorry. Wait, I'm you want to talk about that rash again? No, 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 man. Don't tell everybody about the rash, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Up. I'll call All you right, back. Man. Yeah. All right, I'll see you later. Anyways, so... Now, okay, this piece of steel I had, right, it was basically sold to me by Alpha Knife Supply, and since I know them, they, like, told me about it, and I was like, holy shit, like, this is some future shit right here. Um, you know, everybody's, like, all up on the uh, S30, S35, and now it's S110, and I was like, is there anything farther than that? So they had some S125V, and I was like, I'll take it. They had, like, one piece left, and uh, they warned me this shit is, like, insanely hard to grind because the uh, level of carbide in it is, like, through the damn roof, So, which is 125 compared to S30. So you can imagine, you know, the difference there. So I got it for basically, um, it's a steal for bragging a bit, I guess. But it's also really good steel for like kitchen knives. I mean, it, it has it can, you can get like the sharpest fucking edge on this on this steel apparently. But uh, over at Alpha, they told me, please do not call us up and curse us out when you start grinding this thing. So I did a pre-grind on it as far as I you know farther than usual, just to save my ass. But I kind of got to a state where it looks sexy, so I wanted to show it. And this is for uh, my buddy Sean Riva. Guys, should definitely check out his YouTube channel. He's a professional photographer, has the worst job in the world, goes over to fucking tropical islands and takes pictures of uh, hot models in bikinis. And, you know, I just feel for the guy. It's just just horrible, horrible job he has. But guys, check out his, you know, if you like girls with bikinis, um, you might want to check out his YouTube channel. I'll put that link down there too. But this is his S... Oh, well, also... I was trying to make a toad out of this, but, you know, for another customer, but literally, you know, I could not. Uh, so here you go. It's just a pre-grind. It's not completely finished. Uh, I actually had this have this surface ground after I got it, too. It was so bad. But you see, it's a nice, nice tonto, and uh, I wanted to get it so you could penetrate with the tonto there. Just a slight bevel, uh, slight swedge. It's going to be a little bit better when it's, uh, you know, finished ground. So we got eight inch blade. It was about a quarter inch. Uh, now you guys notice the handle, some interesting stuff going on in here on the uh, handle. Um, I had some weird concepts for this one that are gonna come out. Basically gonna have a titanium backspacer that's gonna be integrated into this handle with uh, the uh, gear pattern on it and uh, anodized. Um, and also there's gonna be a possible thumb ramp as well right here but the grips really nice and uh, it's gonna come down the piece of G10 is gonna come down a little farther with a spacer between it uh, just to have a more of a, uh, a guard here um, but as you can see it's it's fucking sweet it's a five inch five and a half inch handle and uh, eight inch blade Tonto yeah I like it but yeah, this is for Sean Riva pretty big fucker right here so this thing's gonna slice like crazy I'm gonna do a cut test uh, I have heard that this steel is chippy uh, I guess it gets a real fine edge and I uh, use for like you know kitchen like knives for like really fine chopping and slicing but I'm sure with uh, Peter's heat treat they can definitely uh, heat treat it a nice way I did talk to him about heat treating this stuff on one toad blade and uh, oof, just one little toad blade by itself is ridiculous, so this is probably gonna be pretty pricey. But the notch here was, this was the end of the piece of steel. The piece of steel was two inches, so imagine like a big rectangle here. Um, and this is actually the toad relief holes, and I was starting to cut into it. Three bandsaw blades, three bimetal bandsaw blades later, that, this is where the, the steel ended. 
That is as far as I could get. <laughs> that is as far as I get. I ruined three fucking bandsaw blades, and that's like 30 bucks right there, guys. I mean, so I was just like, all right, this ain't happening. So I thought this idea, and it looks kind of cool like this too, but I thought this idea to put a backspacer in here and maybe extend it to a pommel. It's gonna be really cool. This stuff, uh, it grinds pretty well right now. I mean, it, it kind of controls your grind a little bit because it's a little harder to grind. But at the same time, uh, it's really easy to drill through. Um, I'm not sure, basically, but right now it's looking pretty kick-ass and I'm very happy with it. And I'm just gonna send it off to heat treat as soon as I get some N690 uh, war toads cut out and my other stuff back from Heat Treat. Guys, I got so much cool shit going Heat Treat, or that's already there right now at Peter's Heat Treat. And uh, yeah, that's where I get shit Heat, treat, heat Treated, guys. Peter's Heat Treat. They're awesome, really nice. You guys can call up, ask for Brad. He's a good dude. Help you through everything if you've never done it before. You know, and they're just, just good people. So yeah, that's that guy. Gavco, eat your heart out. I know you love it. So, next up, final pimp job today is for Blood Them Flowers, Zero Tolerance 561. Not that it matters, they're all the same. So you got this side, you got gold anodized titanium. I put a little rainbow disc in there because we all know Blood Them Flowers, you know. Uh, gold pivot screw. I got the dark acid washed um, pocket clip, stone washed. Then you got the blade here, which has a very subtle, like, spiral homoan, I guess you'd say. Fomoan. But uh, it, it's not as, like, pronounced as I'd like it to be, but it actually looks pretty damn sweet, so, you know, it's just kind of subtle in there. Then on this side, you got red C Tech, looking sexy as hell. Well, it's a little, it's been sitting out here for a while. Let me just uh, lube her up. And those of you who don't like metal, fuck off. I don't care. Doesn't sound like cats dying. I don't care about your comments about how shitty it sounds. But you see the nice red C Tech with the diamond pattern, uh, with red or not red, uh, gold anodized uh, heat colored hardware. It's kind of like blood. You know, blood, then flowers, right here on the edge. Freaking. Yeah, well then flowers all bitching about the last knife I sent back wasn't sharp, so you know. Even though I said you don't want to sharp, don't worry about it, you know? Um yeah, you know, they need to start bitching at me. You should probably sharpen it. Yep. Yeah, that was me cut testing. The new dawn, kitties. Gone are the days of not being able to cut test on camera. <laughs> Sorry, I'm in a weird mood, guys, but, you know, at least it's not a bad mood like the last couple days. Even though my girlfriend's out there with my new car and I haven't been able to really try it, I'll probably show it on video tonight if I can, or maybe tomorrow. Uh, you guys should see what I got. Uh, it's pretty awesome. Let me know I'm uh, now in the bank's pocket for a while. But anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Got a lot of cool shit coming. Um... Yep, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks. Have a good one. Peace.